In a very significant development, the Aeronautical Development Agency has released a tender for the manufacture of three quantities of composite external tooling for three parts of center fuselage of Tejas Mark II fighter jet. Composite tooling refers to the use of composites as raw materials in the engineering of tools that will be used for manufacturing new parts or product components of the aircraft. The list of deliverables mentioned in the tender include one set of trouser duct, one set of circular duct top, and one set of top skin center. Four private sector firms have submitted their bid for the tender, that includes Tata Advanced Systems Limited, Voldel Advanced Technologies Private Limited, Lakshmi Machine Works Limited, and Kineco Kaman Composites India Private Limited. Pakistani media has reported that Pakistan Navy's anti-submarine warfare units has tracked and intercepted a Calvary class submarine of the Indian Navy that was entering Pakistani waters on 1st March 2022. Pakistani officials also said that it was fourth such detection of the Calvary class submarines in the last five years. The Indian Navy has not responded to this Pakistani claim. But it should be a major concern for Pakistan Navy that four Calvary class submarines equipped with Exocet SM-39 cruise missiles came close to 140 kilometers near Pakistan in the past five years and were spotted only when the submarines were at full periscope depth, which was kind of a signaling to Pakistan Navy. Indian Army has awarded another major contract to private sector firm Idea Forge, under which the company will deliver 200 more switch vertical takeoff and landing UAVs along with its accessories. This will be the third such contract to Idea Forge, as the Army has already received an unspecified number of switch UAV under a $20 million deal in 2021, and a repeat order of switch UAV was also placed to augment surveillance along the India-China border. At a time when the Ministry of Defence has given in principle approval for four major projects under Make One category that includes Light Tank Program, the top contender Larsen and Tubro and Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment are already working on a 35-ton light tank that will be based on the chassis of the future main battle tank, and LNT will be sourcing a 105mm turret from John Cockerill Defence and will use spade 500 steel plates medium hardness armor. The Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment will likely use Russian V-92S2 power pack used on the T-94 initial prototypes, while the production version will get indigenous power packs. The government has given in principle approval to five projects under Make 2 category, in which no funding will be provided by the government for prototype development. The project includes full motion simulator for Apache and Chinook helicopter, wearable robotic equipment for aircraft maintenance, integrated surveillance and targeting system for mechanized forces, and also an autonomous combat vehicle. These projects will be funded by the defense industry itself, with the assurance that the systems will be procured by armed forces if they are found fit after user trials. Naval Group India has confirmed that apart from displaying its 3,200-ton SMX-31E submarine concept to the Indian Navy at the Defence Expo 2022, the company will also be displaying the 4,700-ton Barracuda submarine, which has been offered to meet Indian Navy's SSN requirements, and the French government have offered open collaboration and transfer of technology on conventional systems and parts. UAE's Edge Group has said that it will display 30 cutting-edge defense industry solutions and products at the Defense Expo 2022 that will be provided by three of its entities Caracal, Altaric and Halkin that manufacture small arms such as Car 816 and Car 817 as well as Thunder and Desert Sting range of precision guided munitions.